upgrade! In Fortnite, we have a wide variety of weapons available to us. Some are unique, some are generic, some are very OP, some are not so good, others are outright terrible. How's it going guys? My name is Checker and welcome to today's video. Today I have put together a list of the worst weapons in Fortnite. This is not going to be a list of weapons that I personally do not use just because I don't like them. For example, a weapon like the Noble Launcher, a very highly regarded weapon I personally do not use, I just don't like it. This list will pertain to the weapons that are downright terrible or just utterly and plainly useless. No matter how hard you try to use these weapons proficiently, you will not be able to due to the hindrance of them being just, well, crappy weapons. So without further ado, up first we have the Zap Zap. High tech, fires balls of energy that deal damage to enemies in a small radius. Deals energy damage that is fairly effective against all types of elemental enemies. Where do we even start with the Zap Zap? Incredibly slow rate of fire, incredibly slow reload time, pitiful damage, and high energy consumption. This weapon is just a mix of everything bad in the game of Fortnite thrown into a pistol. The ideal situation, and I say ideal pretty loosely here, but the ideal situation is to use this weapon against a cluster of enemies. Preferably enemies with a low amount of health, as this thing is just so abysmally weak. Even in ideal situations in this recording, keep in mind I'm a power level 97 using a power level 34 weapon in a power level 28 mission. The Zap Zap is still a terrible Terrible, terrible option. So once again, what makes the Zap Zap so incredibly bad? Abysmal damage, a terrible rate of fire, and a terrible reload speed. The high ammo consumption I could really look past if this weapon was viable, however it just, it just is not a viable weapon. Up next though we have the Freedom's Herald, or more commonly known as the Firecracker Pistol. Pistol, special, launches firecrackers that bounce off walls and will knock back and damage enemies in a small radius when they explode. And unfortunately, like the Zap Zap, the Freedom's Herald suffers from similar issues. The damage is terrible, the reload speed is not so great, and due to the fact that this weapon only holds one shot at a time, the rate of fire also suffers greatly. The ideal situation for this weapon once again is firing into a small group of husks and hopefully take them out. But if you can't take them out and you're fighting something with let's say a little bit more health, you're kind of left with no good option. This weapon is incredibly slow to use, incredibly weak to use. The only advantage it has over the Zap Zap is the fact that it does not use energy cells for ammo and doesn't use a crap ton of them. You're simply using one unit of shotgun ammo per shot and I guess that's like the only good thing about this weapon. And then that brings us to the third weapon on this list, probably the best weapon on this list. But keep in mind, this is the best weapon on a worst weapons list. Sniper rifle, high tech, energy rifle that can be fired normally or can be charged up to fire a single powerful shot that does extreme damage and can pierce through multiple enemies. So the Zapatron is definitely a weapon you can get away with using probably through Stonewood, probably partially through Plankerton. And unlike the Zap Zap and unlike the Freedom's Herald, this weapon can actually do some pretty decent damage. However, that decent damage requires you to charge up this weapon. Once charged up, this weapon is extremely accurate even at a range, and like I said before, will deal some decent damage. However, there are some things that are holding this weapon back. The reload speed, the rate of fire, the fact that you need to charge it up to do full damage. This isn't like the Noble Launcher where charging up just gives you that extra wide spread. In order to do full damage with this weapon, you have to have it fully charged. Not doing so will result in a much lower damage. And then to add insult to injury, the Zapatron is a sniper rifle. As you progress through the game of Fortnite, one of the things that changes is the amount of enemies that spawn. Earlier on in the game, obviously there's going to be a lot less enemies. But once you start getting to those higher levels like Late Plankerton, Canny Valley, you'll start to notice that sniper rifles cannot keep up with the influx of enemies. After all, most most of the sniper rifles are inherently slower than most other weapons, and the Zapatron with its incredibly slow rate of fire, its incredibly small magazine and not so great damage just really can't keep up, even less so than other snipers. And then last but not least guys, I have a little bonus weapon for you, the Tiny Instrument of Death. Now don't get me wrong guys, the Tiny Instrument of Death is one of my favorite weapons in the game, it actually kind of is, but unfortunately that is not because it is a good weapon, it is because it's a very fun weapon. For those of you guys unaware, this is kind kind of like the original guided missile from BR. Once you shoot the rocket, you can control where it goes by looking in a certain direction. And while this is a very cool and very fun feature, it unfortunately isn't that good of a weapon still. The damage is decent, but not enough to make up for the slow fire rate, the slow reload speed, and unfortunately this weapon suffers for it. So while it is one of my favorite weapons in the game to use just because it's so fun, it just unfortunately isn't a very viable weapon. But anyway guys, those were the three worst weapons in Fortnite with of course a bonus 
best weapon in there. But what do you guys think? What are the worst weapons of Fortnite? Let me know down below. But thanks you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.